This video was basically inevitable and I think we all know that at this point. As we know, the Shadows rework is bringing along reworks to infamous items such as the Twilight Gemstone and bringing around new items such as Valor, Dusky Catalyst and... But we're not going to be speaking of those in this video. What we're going to be talking about is the Noble Mandolin. From the get-go, I saw this item and I thought to myself, huh. This thing seems really unfathomably broken. From what's suggested by the design, it's going to be a drop from the Forgotten King, and it's safe to assume this item will be crazy good, judging that Deco willingly put this mace in the game aside it. I myself do have a fully exalted bard, so I'll try my best to create an educated stance on the state of this item. So introduction aside, kick back, relax, take a sip out of your custom made bard flask, and let's get into it. As we can see here, it grants the user 30 health and 5 defense upon equip, which is already promising for a best in slot. I always praise items that have both defensive and offensive properties as it always makes for a very well-rounded item. A couple of examples in this instance would be the Kagaboshi and the Cloak of the Cubic Enigma. The first difference that should be noted is that unlike the other strict DPS loot, the Wavecrest Concertina, the Mandolin does not grant the Inspired buff. You see, if you take a listen outside, you'll faintly hear the screams and cheers of Colossus Sword users. On use, it grants damaging to all allies within 5 squares, no comment, and a plus 10 attack boost on self for 4.5 seconds. As a drawback, it halves the velocities of all of your shots during this duration, which in a lot of situations could be a little bit problematic, but I feel like in many of the exaltation bosses, I feel like it wouldn't really cause problems. The bosses with sporadic movement patterns such as the Marble Colossus and Oryx 3 could bear a few issues. As you've probably seen from the footage, on use, rather than the harmless music notes that are thrown out by most other loots, the mandolin throws out a circle of multicolored shards that inflict quite heavy damage to the enemy if struck by multiple. You may have noticed this, but the mandolin does not have a cooldown, meaning you're able to stack up these shards whilst also refreshing the damaging buff before it runs low. My only concern is how the plus 10 attack is going to work with the weird scuff diminishing return system that comes with this mechanic. After playing with it on testing for a while, I really grew to like the decreased velocity that the mandolin gives. Something about shooting a coral bow in slow motion is just super funny to me to use. Using it with a T-shot bow was also quite funny, but I just don't, I just have this gut feeling that at some point down the line there is just going to be this game-breaking, meta-bending mechanic, but I'm not going to put my cards in it, I won't put money on it because I have faith. Now it's time for the billion dollar question. Is it worth maining the Noble Mandolin over the Wavecrest Concertina? As I've previously talked about, for something that drops from the DDoX, the Wavecrest is incredibly overloaded. It's genuinely hard to compare the two. So in this case, I'll be talking about it in a solo scenario. No warriors, no nothing. The Mandolin does 400 to 500 damage per shot, meaning it has an average damage of 450. Landing all of the shots would put you up to 3600 damage. Wavecrest Concertina birds do an average of 1800 per bird. So one thing we can conclude is that the average damage of Mandolin is twice that of Concertina. Concertina costs 10 less mana, though is also trumped by Mandolin in terms of mana effectiveness. The Mandolin has a damage per mana of 32.7 and Concertina's DPM is 18. This is of course relevant because neither of these items have a cooldown. Comparing these to something like the Genesis spell would be unfair because although it has an average DPM of 83.3 recurring, it also has a cooldown of 5 seconds. Obvious difference, Mandolin has a limited range, whereas Concertina's birds can be placed basically as far as your field of view, so Concertina wins there at least. Alright. <laughs> A little bit of a disclaimer for this next part, it's a little bit of a mindfuck so I'll try and explain it in the best way I can. As previously stated, the mandolin applies plus 10 attack to self and damaging to self and the surrounding party. The damaging stat does not increase your attack, but it increases your damage which scales with your attack. To make this less complicated, let's say your damage number is 100 and 100 only. For each point of attack you have, it increases your weapon's damage by 2, so the 10 attack boost from the mandolin will increase your weapon's damage by 20%. So if we get 100 and add 20%, that would be 120. So in the scenario that the attack boost is applied before the damaging in the formula, which I believe it is, you would have to add 120 with the 25% damage boost from damaging, and that would make 150. And then we look at the Wavecrest Concertina, which increases your weapon's damage by 8%, as it does give 4 attack to the user upon equip. It's clear to see which ability is more beneficial for the overall consistent weapon DPS. I know I should also account for the dexterity boost from Concertina, but trust me, 4 dex is not going to compare in the slightest. In conclusion, I am 100% going to be using the Noble Mandolin. I could say, absolutely. The item was insanely fun to play with on testing, and I'm excited to see what meta strategies are found with the addition of the Shadows rework. Happy Meg, and I hope you have a great day. Until next time.
Thank you.